a crochet hook and I'm using a crochet hook number 3.0 I don't know if you can see 3.0 yeah millimeters we also need a needle and I'm using just the normal needle not the darning needle and um, we also have a flower which is also a crochet flower don't worry about this one because I also have a tutorial for this and I'm also having a bead I wanted a white bead but I don't have so I'm using this cream this is not white it's cream and that is uh, what I'm going to use for today yeah so those are the requirements and uh, we are going straight to the um, tutorial so now we start by making the cow or we call it the cuff yeah the wrist part and uh, just as we did on the previous video about gloves we are just doing the same i like that pattern for calves even for sweaters especially for the neck area the calves and the um, the, the the waist area where the sweater reaches i like using this stitch so now we make a slip knot and the chain that you're going to do is uh, according to your to what you like if you want a long one you know that size you make a long one if you want a short one or a medium one you make according to your choice so as for me i'm doing 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 and we are going to do another one chain so we have 16 and i forgot to measure this yarn is blue and that's a, a robin brand which is 100 percent acrylic i'm using two strands as you can see so now we are going to skip the first chain that we added and to the second we are going to do one single crochet in the next single crochet and you are going to single crochet all the way to the end of this row so keep uh, doing your singles single crochets i mean until you get to the end of this row and if you are new here welcome so much we like visitors here so please subscribe to this channel there is the button which is written in red subscribe so you hit that button and there is a bell that is going to appear please put it on so that you get notified every time we upload a new video and now i'm at the end and i finish with one single crochet and that is our first row so now we chain one and turn our work and we are going to single crochet only on the back loop as you can see on top here we have two loops we have this front and we have the back loop so we are going in between the two of them and crochet on the back loop only We've done this several times, but if you are a learner, I also have a tutorial for, for single crochet on back loop, which is uh, on a slow motion. So you single crochet on the back loop until you get the end of the row. If you are a returning member of this channel, we say thank you so much. Karibu tena. Please continue supporting us by liking this video, comment down below, and share. So I'm on my last 
stitch and I make sure that I grab that very last stitch like that I chain one and turn my work and I'll continue working single crochets on the back loop until I get the desired size of my wrist or my cuff So I already have one which is ready, which goes round my wrist very well. So you will work your, yours until you get that uh, size which fits your hand, yeah, or that fits the uh, the size that you are making. So now I'll keep this aside and we continue with the one which is ready. Yeah. So this is how to do it. And it creates that ribbing. Yeah. So now I'm going I'm going to continue with this one. This is hot pink. And this is from butterfly. So we are going to fit it. So this is how it fits. So as you can see there is some space and this is because uh, the yarn is going to stretch. So when you pull it, it is going to fit you well. Yeah. So now we are going straight to joining the two parts. Yeah. So we are going to join these two parts. And we are going to join them using slip stitches. So I'm going to grab the first stitch from the other side and I'm going to slip stitch. So here and I slip stitch. And I come to this other side. I grab my following stitch. On the other side I grab I yarn over and slip stitch and make sure you do not skip any stitch so you grab from one side you go to the other side yarn over and slip stitch making sure that you are not skipping any stitch so continue slip stitching until you get to the other side so I've done it up to this point. So now the part where we've joined. Yeah, is it? Is it? And you cannot even tell whether it is that point. So now we are going to check from the other side. And as for me, both sides are just okay. So from the other glove that we did on the previous tutorial we turned but as for this I, I, I find both sides okay so I'm just going to continue with this side so now from here we are going to chain one and now turn so I have an extra yarn here I'm going to work hiding heat on top of of, um, of this part so now I'm going to do single crochets all around you make sure that you work a single on the ribbing and on, also on this other part which separates the ribbings here so you continue doing single crochets until you get to the other side I'm at the end I'm, and I'm going to slip stitch on the chain one and that is how it looks so when I wear it it should perfectly fit for my cuff for my wrist yeah 
And this is also a nice uh, piece to match your clothing just as it is. Wow. So now from this point now we are now, now going to be creating the pattern of uh, this part and we start by chaining one and now we are going to be forming puffs and this is how to do puff stitch so I'm not going to do the regular puff which we do all the stitches double crochets but now I'm going to be doing I go in that stitch and make one single and I raise it up and now I yarn over once I go through the same our first double again yarn over go through that same stitch and now yarn over and go through all of them chain one to close yeah we're going to skip one stitch and to the next again one single one double again one double go through everything chain one to close so now i'm going to do this not all around but um you should ensure that the puffs should be from this area to this other area. So we will do our puffs and we are going to check with our hand to check if it moves from one side to the other side. Yeah, because we are going now to be decreasing to that middle finger. So we continue. So I did nine puffs and as you can see this is the first one and this is the last one yeah so now we continue from there and this is how it looks it is from one side to the other side so it's just like half of the of the whole cuff so now we continue we chain one and turn our work and now the first space between the space between the first and second puff we are going to work a puff just as we did on the previous row we finish by closing and chain one to close that in the next space we do the same we work one puff we close we chain one to close in the next space we do the same you finish that and you chain one to close yeah so repeat this until we get to the last space that is the space between the last and the second last puff. I've worked my last puff and you realize that we started by nine puffs and now on this row we have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So every row we are reducing one puff. Okay, so again we chain one and turn our work around. And in the first space between the first and the second puff, again we work a puff. If you are not used to this kind of uh, puffs, you can just work the regular puffs. So I'm working puff uh, in every space. So 
So between two puffs, you form a puff. And by the end of this row, you should have seven puffs because we are reducing every row by one puff. So I'm approaching the end of this row. And I work my last puff. Like that, and I close. Yeah, so I have seven puffs on this row. I chain one and turn, and I repeat this until I'm left with two puffs. Yeah, so in this gap, I form a puff at the end of this row. You should have six puffs. So continue repeating the, the same process until you have two puffs left with you and I get you at that point. So I'm left with two puffs and this is how it is so far looks. So now we are going to be forming a ring which is going um, around this middle finger. So we are going to do a chain of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and already done one, so that is ten. And in this space between the two puffs, I'm going to do a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one to close that and this is how it looks and I'm going to cut the yarn and leave some long yarn because I'm going now to be sewing the the flower piece so we can try this on And this is how it looks. Yeah. So this is the arm that I'm going to use to sew that. So now I'm going to be attaching this flower on this part. And that bead on top there. Wow. It's just beautiful. I have my yarn threaded. And so we are going to attach this. So we attach this flower at the end on top of it on the last two puffs. That is where we are going to attach it. This is, a, this is a good gift for a wedding. You can as well choose it for yourself as the bride and for your bridal team. Yeah, very simple but very, very smart and unique. So now I'm going to bring the yarn on, on top here. So that I can attach the bead as well. So the bead should come right on top of this small circle. Yeah. 
yeah like that and here is our finished uh, bridal glove yeah so this is how it looks wow i'm just loving this it's very very beautiful i like it i honestly like it not just because i did it but wow isn't this beautiful It's beautiful. What do you say? What do you say? So if you watched until this point, thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not subscribed. Please, please, please subscribe. Comment down below and share this. We want to see people making this. Yeah. So thank you so much for this far and goodbye for now. God bless you.